And Excelsior to all of you beautiful nerds out there. Dead Joe Gaming back with another video. So today we're going to be talking about something near and dear to me. In my previous video, I talked about uh, a potential God of War movie. And in that video, I explained how God of War is my top five favorite games of all time in my life. This game, the Batman Arkham series, will probably be second on that list. Um... So this rumor coming from uh, pushsquare.com, I've never really used their site. Um, it looks nice. I don't know how credible they are. Pushsquare.com reports rumor. The upcoming Batman game reportedly a fresh start with co-op and playable Bat Family. Okay. So we've been waiting to see what WB Montreal is up to for what feels like an eternity. The developer has been teasing a new Batman game since September of last year. Um, with hints pointing at Court of Owls. Um, so, sources are saying this new Batman game is a soft reboot. In other words, this isn't a Batman Arkham title. It's a start of a new fiction. Apparently, the initial plan was to direct a sequel to Arkham Knight starring Damian Wayne, Bruce's son, but this project was canceled. The site claims this fresh start will kick off a new DC game universe. When it releases this fall. Now, mind you, this was posted three days ago, so how do they know it'll release this this fall if it's just a rumor? Furthermore, Rock City's game will apparently also be set within this DC game universe. So are they saying that there's other DC games coming out this fall? Playable Bat Family features some sort of co-op, and a playable Bat Family presumably this means you'll be able to take control of characters, such as Robin, Catwoman, as well as the Cape Crusader himself. It's hard to say whether any of this is accurate, but the site seemed confident in these details. Um, so E3 got canceled, so that's, I mean, that's interesting. Um, so, okay, it's a short article. Okay, I thought it was longer than that. It's just a lot of comments down there. All right, so quick history lesson on me, quick fact. Batman Arkham City, no, Arkham Knight was my favorite. Right, like Arkham Knight was my favorite Batman game um, for multiple reasons. Arkham City is second, and then Arkham Asylum. And I was actually one of the few who loved Arkham Origins. I got to learn how to look at the the lens because I keep looking over here because um, I, I like to look at myself. But Arkham Origins, I liked Arkham Origins. I really did. Uh, Troy Baker as Joker was amazing. Um, I liked the suit. Um, I liked the Christmas theme. It was cool. Excuse me, but. A lot of people didn't like Arkham Origins because it wasn't done by uh, by uh, the main team, right? The main Arkham team. It was done by WB Montreal, which this soft reboot is claiming to be done by WB Montreal. So, I mean, listen, if this is what they're saying, like the Court of Owls, so the Court of Owls, if you guys don't know, in the comics, the Court of Owls were basically a huge family slash organization that pretty much in my opinion pretty much hated the Waynes right like they wanted to bring they wanted to control Gotham um they were their own little sin not little but they were their own syndicate they were and I'm never going to forget this they were one of the few groups of villains to bring Bruce to his knees and cry like I don't even think Joker was able to do that to be honest with you um, but the Court of Owls are very, very dangerous. Um, the things I've seen them do um, can be uh, very messed up. Um, so they've released, like WB Montreal released, um, like they've been teasing little things, right? Like they, they posted a picture. Um, let me see. Supposedly the name Batman Arkham Legacy. Okay. Yeah, like they posted different symbols and teased different pictures. Um, so, but it sucks because I kind of like the original idea. I do remember reading about 
an Arkham Knight sequel to feature Damian Wayne. Now, Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. Of all, like he's my favorite Robin. Over Dick Grayson, over Jason Todd, over Tim Drake. He is over Carrie. He is my favorite Robin. I love his 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 personality. I love what he's become, like what he started out as and what he's become. He, he's had one of the best character developments um, and from a Robin that I've seen. Um, and Dick Grayson, there, that's why he's my favorite. Um, so that would have been cool to see a Batman game where you play as Dick Grayson. Now, this next part they're talking about is going to be like a co-op. Now, are they talking online co-op or local? I'm assuming it, it could be online, similar to like, I think Gears does it, like Gears of War. I think Gears of War does that, where you can play the story with other players, I think. Um, but that'd be cool. That'd be cool as hell. And it makes sense, because if this is going to be a game based off the Court of Owls, you would want a team of, like, you would want the Bat family to go up against this other group, right? Like, that's what you would want. So it makes sense to be able to play as different ones and have multiple characters. Um, now, who would those characters be? Who would I want them to be? Uh, Jason Todd, I want Red Hood to be in there because Red Hood necessarily isn't a villain. He's more of an anti-hero, but I would like to see Red Hood. Um, I would like to see, because, well, this is a soft reboot. I guess it couldn't be. Well, Red Hood was an Arkham Knight, but Red Hood, um, obviously Catwoman, Damian Wayne, Nightwing, uh, Batgirl. Um, <laughs> my, my ass is about to say Alfred, but... Look, Alfred, he he with the shits. Alfred, look, Alfred, he, he can he can throw down when he wants to. Um, but yeah, those are the main people that I'd like to see where they let us play as. Um, and then obviously Bruce. Um, but that would be very interesting, a playable Bat family. Now, I know Catwoman isn't a part of the Bat family, but shit, I would still like to see her. But if you don't want Catwoman, throw in Tim Drake, okay? G give me the bow staff. Throw in Tim Drake and Dick Grayson and Damien and, and Barbara. Um, you could even throw in like Cassandra Kane if they wanted to throw in Cassandra Kane, you know. Um, but yeah, that'd be cool. I think that'd be pretty dope. Um, I mean, I've been looking forward to a new Batman game for a while. Arkham Knight, like I said, is one of my favorites. Uh, it finally introduced the Batmobile, a playable Batmobile. It had a lot of content. Like that game had a shit ton of content. They supported that game until I think that game released. I think it released 2016 like fall and they supported that game up until the next year around january or february i think so it had a lot of content and uh the graphics even the graphics to this day like i i just bought it on pc the graphics of the day hold up they hold up to this day um i tell people this all the time you know how like when you watch an e3 conference and they show a video game and then when a game releases finally it doesn't really look like how they showed it Batman Arkham Knight and God of War were the two exceptions in my opinion. Batman Arkham Knight looked pretty much exactly how they showcased it at E3. And that to me was very impressive and I respect it. Um, they, they greatly improved the combat system. And that's another thing. If this is true, I'm very excited to see what they could do with the combat system. Batman has inspired other games to use that same combat system. It has. Um, Spider-Man PS4 uses a similar combat system to Arkham Knight or to the Arkham series. That's just how good the the, the, the combat system is, the multi-fight combat system. And it's so smooth and seamless, even from Arkham Asylum. And then they just, they perfected it in Arkham Knight. So that was really dope. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited to see how they're going to improve even further on the combat system. The gadgets, there's a rumor that the game will be bigger than Arkham Knight which is insane because Arkham Knight finally let you go around Gotham City. Now, Arkham Origins did it as well, but it was a section off part of Gotham City, but it was still pretty cool, right? Um, and you could fly, you could kind of get in the Batwing, but it was more of a, uh, like a, like a fast travel thing, right? But Arkham Knight, it was full Gotham City, full rain. Um, you could get in the Batmobile. Uh, it was a tank. Now, that's the one thing I didn't like about the game was the little stealth tank missions. I like the regular tank missions, but the stealth tank missions kind of threw me off. Um, but, yeah, I, I'd love to see how they, like, if this is going to be bigger than Arkham Knight, I'd love to see what, what they're going to do. I know the Batmobile will probably be in it. 
right? Like if Nightwing, Nightwing has his motorcycle. Can I ride his motorcycle as Nightwing? Can I ride the motorcycle as Tim Drake or, or Barbara? You know, um, this, this is wild, man. This is wild. Yeah, this is the most recent article we have. Um, I'm assuming when E3 happened, they were probably going to showcase it. But uh, unfortunately, E3 got got uh, um, canceled because of COVID. So, yeah, um, this is interesting news. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about a soft reboot of the Arkham game. Soft reboot to me is always an interesting word. Because it's, it's right in that gray area of reboot and sequel. So it's just very interesting. Um, is this, But they're saying it's not a Batman Arkham title. Okay. So just Batman Legacy then. Regardless, I digress. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about a potential new Batman game. Um, what is your favorite Arkham game? What's your favorite Arkham game? Or matter of fact, what's your favorite Batman game? I know there's a lot of Batman games back on PS2, uh, Game Boy, and all that stuff. Um, so what's your favorite Batman game of all time? As a kid, as an adult, it doesn't matter. We're all nerds. I thank everybody for joining me on this adventure. We're almost at 100 subscribers. I'm very excited to reach that. Um, follow me on Discord. Download the Discord app. Follow me on Discord. My Discord name will be in the description below. Um, so we can talk nerdy to each other. I'd, I'd love to talk to you guys further and uh, discuss theories and stuff like that, different games, and just have fun. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Dead Joe Gaming. Follow me on Twitter, Dead Joe Gaming, and Instagram, Dead Joe Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys stay safe. Have a good day. Peace out. What's up, Dead Joke Nation? Thank you for watching the video. Follow my Twitch at Dead Joe Gaming. And follow my Twitter at Dead Joke Gaming for more awesome content. And as always, stay nerdy.